hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel you have to prepare an invitation an email or any long document which has to be sent to maximum number of recipients but that information is same so how can you use this mail merge function and well making and organizing data for instance friends you have a list in Access spreadsheet where you have maintained the data of the persons, including the name, designation, company, address, postcode, country, whatever. It can be a small data list or it can be as much as long, depending on the work requirement as well. So, how you can bring up all these persons' details for the specific information to which shall be used to send to all these persons at one single time so let's start over here for instance the document a kind of birthday party invitation we have to send to recipients of 10 people and the same information shall be sent to everyone so how we can send this data to each recipient friends once you open your document file go to mailing recipients so you have to click on this drop down list and the second option available use existing list sh should be clicked but in case if you click the first option type new list here you have to mention your all recipients data manually like you have maintained in the spreadsheet and you can also customize these by default available specific column names and you can add your one as, as well as in the sheet but for the time being we are not using this because we have already maintained the same kind of sheet in excel spreadsheet so we click on select recipients under mailing and then the second option use existing list here so my list is over here i just select the list and make sure in which sheet your data is being displayed so you have to click on that sheet over here for the time being it's in the sheet one so I click on OK and now we have to click on edit recipient list and we will be able to see all the data which was earlier mentioned and organized in Excel spreadsheet is now being displayed over here with the heading as well as the data information too so we click on OK and then we click on match fields here friends what happens sometimes your heading name is being different here but by default in word when you click on match field under mailing you will see the last name is being displayed here but we are using the first name only so we click on name here and we will click on not matched because we are not using the last name here and the second option of access spreadsheet has been providing is designation so designation should come under the job title it is right now not matched so we have to click on it and click on designation the company is being clicked the address one is all right and the postal code we have to click it with the postcode whatever heading we have mentioned over here like you can see postcode in g column and the country so in total we have six columns right now we have to calculate calculate one two three four five and the name is a six column that's okay so we are good to go here now we have to click on insert merge field and click on name you can see right now it's a code being displayed here in less than greater than so we have to click on preview results and click on click enter so friends you can see here a space has come up over here but in letters we have to send so many letters to other departments some companies some person or any kind of society community we don't need to mention the space here so we click back after the a and go to home tab and here click on this icon in the paragraph you can see here spacing so we have to make it zero the before and after click ok and then now you click on enter 
go back to mailings and click on insert merge field we have to add designation then we add company name but we have to press the space button so we press the space button here and now click enter or we can add column here as well and uh, sorry the comma now we'll add the address comma and postcode okay then enter and country so that's how we have we'll be able to add the data of first person and you can see here in the preview results click on next record you will be able to see the next persons in total we have 10 10 percent data over here so we will be able to see all person data here either you can use the fastest click or the last record click now after dear we would like to add the name of the person so we click on insert give a space after dear click on name that's it if you click on finish and merge you will be clicking on the first option and if you click on all then the all 10 percent data will be available on each sheet in word and 10 pages word document will come up because we have 10 percent data over here if you wanted to need only specific person data you have to click or mention the page number over here and then click on ok but what we can do over here is that is very interesting right now click in front of mr a go to home tab and click on heading one and you have to do a right click do not go anywhere else click update heading one to match selection okay now go back to mailings click on finish and merge edit this time we need all 10 percent documents that's why i make you understand before this function so you can easily understand now a new word document has opened with all 10 person name and you can see here each person person has their own name what is the main purpose of this function is you click on view you click on navigation and pane and you can see here all 10 pages because we have given heading one to the first name so all 10 pages has come up over here and now friends in case if you don't want to send each person the same matter you can do a little bit of adding in the specific name by just clicking on the left side you click on mr e you come up directly on this page you click on mr j you directly come up here so you can end up all those things which you don't like to have for that specific person and you have to make sure you have to save this file separately but for the time being i don't need it this in case you are not able to understand this navigation pane please watch my earlier video on navigation pane where you will be able to understand a lot of things about this that how you can use this with heading because you have to use heading to use navigation page pane so for the time being we don't need this so and second function is to print the data information on envelope in which the letter will be put in to send to the respective persons so we'll go to mailings we go to select recipients we go to use existing list. We have to open new word document where you can add your mailing list because to create envelope you need a separate sheet so once we have added this one we have to go to start mail merge and click on envelopes so you can see here uh, popin has come up regarding the envelope options where you can change the size depending on your need you can change the font color heading the size whatsoever and similarly you can add your return address as well and you can also go for the printing option at what place the document shall print on envelope by the printer and right now we have to go to address block we are still under the mailings so you can see here 
the first person data has displayed over here if we just click on ok and we click on preview results so you will be able to see in the preview results by clicking on the next record that old person data has displayed over here in case you want this data to be displayed in center you can select it click on the left indent and then make it drag wherever you would like to have it and also you can use the top margin wherever you would like to show the person name information on envelope so that's how we'll be able to add the data in envelope also you can make the same thing here for this document as well or either you can go directly for the print documents now the third function over here is we we need this excel spreadsheet data which we have prepared in word document separately as a directory because we have sent this person this letter so we click on mailings we click on recipients we have to open another word file and you have to follow these functions use existing link. then that list shall display over here how now you have to click on start mail merge click on directory and now go to insert here we have six columns over there so we have to need six tables click inside the table go to insert merge field click name then click on the second table designations you have to add this one by one the headings it's being displayed over here right now all right that's the last one okay so now click on preview results you will see the first name person with details and right now you have to click on finish and merge and then click on individual data and click on ok so you will see your access spreadsheet has come up over here in an instant and how fast it has saved you a lot of time it has sharpened your skills by using word different functions and the more you use these functions you will be able to enhance your work productivity saves a lot of your time as well as you will enjoy your work because you might be bored sometimes to doing the same work but here you have to do this work in a very less time and you don't have to put up more energy here friends i hope you like this video please like and share explore youtube channel as well as subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you